It's happened twice. It's happened the last show as well. You interrupted him right before me. New Wave Wrestling is back at St Andrew's Church. I'm Steve Andrew and my broadcast partner this evening is Aluna Blue. Aluna, how are you doing? Hi, I'm Steve. I'm very well, thank you. Very excited to be here on the commentary team for uh, New Wave Wrestling this evening. Oh, that's brilliant. And I know you've got plenty of reasons to be excited. This match being one of them, of course, the stakes couldn't be any higher. As Francesca said, the winner of this match will get the number 30 slot in the Royal Rumble later this evening. And of course the loser, even worse, will get the number one slot. Exactly, they've got to start at the beginning. Um, but the, uh, the brilliant James Ellis, is, uh, he's definitely being booed by the fans at the moment. I don't think they like him very much. Well, I think these Cardiff crowd definitely have a favorite and that is not James Ellis. You can't believe it, really, can you? Knowing no. that he's from Swansea of all places. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and James Ellis able to get to the ropes. Yep. And an arm ringer there. Oh. And a wrist lock. Of course, trash talking. Definitely, that's what James is. Oh, what a, what a beautiful drop kick. drop kick from Mark Andrews there. James Ellis is becoming quite well known now for his trash talk in the fans. Oh, yeah, the fans here already know that they hate him. Okay. Wasting time on the outside. Okay. I've got to say, he's a very clever competitor. Oh, definitely. James Ellis. Definitely, yeah. I, I would agree there. He, he knows what he's doing. Oh. Oh. Kick to the midsection. Side headlock. Off the ropes. Oh, and a sleep from Mark Andrews. And a leap. And another beautiful drop kick from Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews definitely has experiences on his side. Yes. Agreed there. Agreed. And back to the outside, James Ellis goes. Oh, he's definitely <laughs> time wasting. 
Asking for a timeout. Fortunately, there will be none in this match. Mark Andrews on the chase. Oh, and James back is back ring. in the ring. Oh! There we go. Back to the intelligence of James Ellis. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yes. He knows how to manipulate his opponent's decisions in a match. Oh, and a kick to the knee there from Mark Andrews. Kick to the side of the head. Shot to the back of Mark Andrews. Oh, and another one. Oh, head into the turnbuckle for Mark. Oh, Mark's avoided that one this time. And a hell of a forearm. What's he thinking here? Springboard, no. Oh, break the eyes. James Ellis is willing to do whatever it takes to win this match. Doesn't care about the rules. Definitely using dirty tactics there, Steve. This is what we've come to expect from James Ellis. Ah. Slams his head onto the hardest part of the ring, believe it or not. I know. Shot to the back. Oh, Andrews really is taking a beat here from James Ellis. Definitely is. But we can't count Mark Andrews out. Oh! James hits his hand on the post. He goes for a chop. And Mark moves out of the way and gives a chop of his own to James Ellis on the outside. Oh! Surely that can't be legal. He just kicked the ropes. Yeah, that's true. Dirty tactics again. That's going to take a lot out of Mark Andrews. Mark's fighting back though. Nice. Mark's not going to give up. It's too much on the line. Nice. So of course the winner oh. of the Rumble tonight will be crowned the first New Wave champion. That's very true, yes. I'm very much looking forward to that Rumble. And a hip attack from James Ellis there. Oh, and an elbow drop from James. That's our first Mark pin attempt out. of the match, I believe. Yeah, I think it is. A kick out there from Mark. The Cardiff crowd here behind Mark Andrews. Definitely are. Hometown hero. Reversal by Mark yeah. Andrews. Back body drop there. Forearm to the head. Oh, oh an Mark's elbow. down again. Another pinfall. Is this going to be it? Oh, and a kick out at two. Ellis now going for the abdominal stretch and he's got it. Oh, he's got it in. Oh, and, and he's holding on to the rope. Of course he is. The ref's caught him though. The ref, no, the ref knows what he's doing. And again from James. Very smart he's using to use the count. five counts. Definitely using that count. I've got to say, even to the winner of this match, this is taking it out of them for that oh, Rumble match. Oh, and the ref kicks the rope. And a hip toss by Mark Andrews. And another, another hip toss. Another one. A third. No, he didn't get it. Oh. Chop. A forearm. Chop. And a forearm. Strike combo. Slides on his knees. Oh. Beautiful kick there from Mark Andrews. 
Mark Andrews thinking here. Oh, and another slip slam. Oh, Northern Lights suplex from Mark Andrews. kicks out. Kick out at two. Break the eyes again. Oh, oh what a oh, hell of a hell knee! Of a knee. <laughs> oh, pin attempt for a mark and a kick out at two by James. Very near fall there. Oh. An elbow to the to the face. Oh. What a spine, oh, buster, spine buster by James buster. Ellis. Yeah. Mark Andrews kicks out. Credit to James Ellis, that was a lovely spine buster. <laughs> Good as gold, that one. But the thing is, he is a fantastic wrestler. Yes. And he doesn't need to cheat and use these dirty no, tactics as much as he does, but still. He's got a very classic move set, and he doesn't need to cheat as much as he does. What's he thinking here? Oh, <laughs> what an elbow drop. Elbow drop. <laughs> this has got to be it. Oh. No. A reversal. Oh, oh, I thought that was it then. James Ellis again. Mark Andrews. Into a waist lock. Roll through. Oh, I thought that was oh, it. Pinning oh. combination. Oh, 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 he's got it. Got it. And your number 30 entrance in the rumble. Mark Andrews has done it. He's done it. A proper pin combination there from Mark Andrews. And you know what this means, Aluna? This means that James Ellis <laughs> will be number one in the Rumble match. Oh, he's yes, not he going to be happy will. about that. He's going to be fuming about that. Oh, Mark Andrews with a well-deserved victory there. Hometown hero. The crowd are loving this one. James Ellis now on his way to the back. He's got his hands on his head. He has <laughs> got to be thinking about some tactics for the match oh, later on. No. How is he going to be able to do it from number one? Oh, he's screaming. He's so angry. There he is, number 30 in the Rumble, Mark Andrews.
Our second contest is underway, Attack Team Match. We have the debut of Act Two. Yep. So we got Indeed. Jack Knudsen in the ring at the moment, wearing the trunks, and Benjamin Harland on the outside in the tights. Yep. And we got a lockup. Oh, and a push back to the corner from Danny Jones. Of course, Danny Jones has the size advantage on Jack Knudsen, but oh, Jack Knudsen might have the speed advantage. Roll up. Oh, and he ducks a hip toss. Reversal into a wheelbarrow. And a beautiful oh, hurricanrana oh. from Jack Knudsen. And a drop kick. <laughs> what an impressive showing for Jack Knudsen this is. Definitely. He's definitely looking to start things off with a bang at New Wave Wrestling. And offering the hand to Danny Jones. Is Danny going to take it? Ah, showing respect. Oh! oh. And he's just picked him up and taken him back to the corner. And in comes Bronco, Brendan White. A hell of an elbow by Brendan White. Tags Danny Jones back in. Working very well as a team. Of course they would be, they've been teaming for years now. Yeah, they started at Attack Pro Wrestling just before the pandemic yeah, as the Greedy Souls. I believe. Yeah. And they've got years of experience between them as well. Very experienced tag team. Oh. oh, Danny Jones working on the arm of Jack Knudsen here. Landing right on his shoulder. Oh! What a reversal. And a kick from Jack Nelson there. And a beautiful Insiguri. In comes Benjamin Harland. Drop kick from Jack Nudson and a pin from Benjamin Harlan. Kick out at one by Danny Jones. Well, act two are very quick, aren't they? They are, definitely. definitely. Danny Jones. Back in control again. And a sleep and a leap. Oh, and another kick. Kick to the side of the head and, and a sent on. on. Oh, it tags in Brendan White. In and comes the workhorse. Act two have definitely got some very nice tag team <laughs> move combinations here. This is a very impressive debut, fair play. Oh, Danny tag. Jones tags in. And a oh, duck. They missed both. Oh, and a slam oh, from slam. Brendan White. Oh, Benjamin Harlan's just been knocked off the apron by Danny Jones. And the crowd showing their appreciation to greedy souls. Who are back in control of this match. Suplex by Danny Jones. Straight to the pinfall. Kick out at two by Jack Knudsen. And Benjamin Harland is just getting back up on the apron now. In comes Brendan White. Oh, and a back suplex by Danny Jones. And an assisted sent on. And a sent on from Brendan. Jack Knudsen kicks out to two. Oh, Brendan White, maybe thinking that that was a bit of a slow count by the referee. Yes, yeah, he was definitely asking him to speed up there. Shoves the face of Jack Knudsen into those turnbuckles. Oh, and a hard buckle from Brendan White. That looked like that really hurt. That did look like it really hurt. I felt it from here. Oh, And an uppercut. Sends Jack Knudsen into the corner of the Greedy Souls. That oh, is not I mean, where he wants one. to be. Uh, definitely not. Definitely not. Benjamin Harland is reaching out on the other side of the apron there. I think Jack really needs to make a tag soon. Benjamin Harland desperate to get into this match. Oh! And a kick out at two from Jack Knudsen there. Tag made. 
In comes the workhorse. Oh, oh and sweet a neck breaker. Net breaker from Brendan. Kick out by Jack Knudsen. Fair play to Jack Knudsen. He's Harland's not giving up, is he? has been knocked off the apron again there by Danny Jones. Oh, the hell of a slam. Do you see how easy Brendan White picked him up then? The height he got on that. Kick out at two again by Jack Knudsen. That seemed like quite a desperate pin from Brendan there. Oh, and a back suplex from Brendan. Jack Knudsen kicks out again. Again. He needs to make a tag to his partner. Definitely. Benjamin Harlan needs to get into this match. Oh, and Jack Knudsen is back in the corner with the Greedy Souls. Danny Jones in now, stomping, stomping in the corner. Knudsen. Oh. oh, and a slingshot out of the corner. Unless Benjamin Harland is going to get into this match, then I can't see it going on much longer. No, it's it's definitely looking painful in there for Jack Knudsen at the moment. He really needs to make that tag. The Greedy Souls are definitely in control of this match at the moment. Oh, and oh, he, he lands on his feet. Oh, oh so close to making Brendan the tag. It's Jack Knudsen. That was a brilliant move there by Brendan White. Able to catch him in midair and dragging him back into the corner of the Greedy Souls again. Oh. In comes that job. Oh. Now oh, that looked like it hurt. That looked like <laughs> I wouldn't know, but it looked like it hurt. Oh. <laughs> Danny Jones on the hand of Jack Knudsen. They're just taunting him now, aren't they? They're stood in the way, cutting off the ring. Some shots Knudsen. now from Jack Knudsen. Fighting. Jack's got to make the tag here, go on. <laughs> Look at those forearms! Oh! And a big shot from Danny Jones sends Knudsen back to the mat again. I think that one forearm from Danny Jones was worth all the forearms from Jack Knudsen. It was. He was really firing up there. Oh, look at Brendan White. Had his foot on that Jack Knudsen's hand there. That was Oh! oh the drop kick sends Brendan White off the corner. He's caught through his legs. Oh, he's so close. He's so close. It's a gurry from Jack Knudsen. And in yes. comes Benjamin Harland! He's fresh. He's the forearm. fresh. <laughs> Look at him take it on to the Green Souls at once. Strike combo from Benjamin Harland. Brendan White with a kick. Up and over. And uppercut! Uppercut! Another uppercut! Well, Danny Jones moves out the way. And a kick from Harland. A roll. Oh, lovely. Oh, and, and a neck, neck breaker. breaker. Goes for a pin, is this it? Oh. Brendan White just about kicks out. Just about, he gets the shoulder up there on two. What a difference Benjamin Harland has made to this match. Tag made. Are we going to see a tag team combo here from Act What's Two? What's coming up here? Oh. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what that was called, but I liked it. Oh. Back breaker by Benjamin Harland. And a kick out by Brendan. Again, we're seeing the, the brilliant, innovative tag team combos that Act 2 has to offer. This is like nothing I've ever seen before. They're amazing. Is he going for a neck breaker? May no. Oh, oh, amazing athleticism there from Act 2. In comes Danny Jones. Hell of a forearm. Spinning forearm. Oh, and an uppercut. Uppercut from Danny Jones. That's got to be it. Benjamin it's Harlan kicks out. He is still in this match. He's keeping this match alive for Act Two right now. Brendan is fired up. A knee to the face. Oh, and a cat 
multiple slam. Jack Knudsen saves this match. Oh, that could have been it then. They definitely could. He did well to break up that pin. Whoa. Oh, and a kick from Brendan. Tags in Danny Jones. Soul Destroyer. Oh, and that's it. That's it. The Greedy Souls have won that match with the Soul Destroyer. In the end, the experience of Greedy Souls was just too much for Act 2 to take nothing away from them. That was a fantastic first showing for Act 2. For your victors, the Greedy Souls. Exciting third contest on the way. Now we've got another debut here, a new wave wrestling debut of Echo Reed. 
This is a match I am really looking forward to. I've wrestled both of these women um, and they're both fantastic competitors. Echo has got a new look now, a new personality, um, and I guarantee that she is definitely going to let Danny Nula know who is boss on her new way of debut today. And a lock up. Oh. Danny Luna getting the better of that exchange. Echo doesn't look very happy there that she thought that Danny Luna was pulling her hair. Oh, and nice strong lock up again. Oh, down to the mat, Echo goes. But she manages to scramble to the ropes there. Echo accompanied to the ring today by Jordan Sparks. And he's trying to get the fans behind her. Oh, oh Luna takes it down mat. to the mat again. Is that, is that Jordan Sparks pulling Echo out of the way? I think well, he Vince could Martin. cause problems in this match, Steve. Danny Luna does not look impressed, does she? She doesn't. Is this Echo's game plan, do you think? To get into the head of Danny Luna, could get her a bit be. frustrated? It could be, it could be her game plan indeed. Oh, and back, she takes oh, she Danny got the Luna. Hair? Is it Danny Luna screaming in pain? She could have had the hair then. That was cheeky. Oh, oh, oh what a hell of a boot to the head. <laughs> boot from Danny Luna. Off the ropes, she ducks. Oh. oh, Echo's caught in a crossbody here, but slips down the back of Danny Luna. Oh, and a pinfall. Echo kicks out at two. The crowd here is fully behind Danny Luna. They definitely are. And a suplex. A suplex from Danny Luna. Oh. oh, are we going for the second? Second, is she going for the third? Oh, she can't be, is she? Oh, is she gonna do it? Oh no! Jordan ah. Sparks has grabbed the leg of Echo, stopping her from getting caught with that third suplex. Well, he's proving himself to be a very useful manager, isn't he? He is, he is. Unfortunately though, for Danny Luna, oh, oh and, a, and kick a kick to, to the, the knee. previously injured knee of Danny Luna. Oh, oh Danny Luna. That's a wow. Kicks out. A strike to the back by Echo Reed. Oh, and another one. Oh, oh shoulder to the gut. Oh, and again. Oh, oh and Danny blocked it. Danny and it's over strike room. What are we going to see here? Oh, and a switch. Echo reversed it. Oh. Oh, Danny Luna got her legs through the ropes there by Echo. Pinfall. Danny Luna kicks out a two. Look at the look at Spark's face. He is, he is not a happy bunny, is he? He's desperately trying to get the fans here behind Echo. But I think they're firmly behind Danny Luna here at the moment. A bit of trash talking by Echo Reed. Danny Luna back to her feet. Oh, and a jawbreaker by Danny Luna and a shot that sends Echo into the corner. 
Oh. And an uppercut by Danny Luna. Oh, another switch. Luna kicks out again. That looked like a, a front DDT there by Echo. That viciously sent Danny into the mat. And now Echo is back in control. This is a very impressive debut by Echo Reed again. It's been a night full of impressive debuts tonight. Yes. Danny Luna the strikes to the midsection. Oh, and Echo Reed throws her into the corner. Oh, into the corner there. She landed hard in the turnbuckles there. An elbow to the face. Oh, and a, <laughs> a boot, boot to, to the, the face. face. <laughs> Danny Luna is definitely trying to fight back here. There it is! Oh, a what a lariat that was! Lariat from Danny Luna. Oh, and another one. We go for here. Oh, and a big slam from Danny Luna there. Sends Echo crawl into the corner. What's Danny Luna thinking of here? Throws Echo into the corner. Oh! Close line no into close the corner. Line. Oh, and another short arm lariat. Beautiful close line by Danny Luna. And Echo Reed kicks out. Jordan Sparks is desperately trying to get Echo up to her feet from the outside here. And the crowd are again firmly behind Danny Luna. Echo Reed up on the shoulders of Danny Luna here. Oh, and Sparks. Jordan Sparks. Pulls her off of her shoulders. Shot to the gut by Echo. Oh, oh, what a cutter that a was. Cutter through the ropes by Echo. Oh, Danny Luna kicks out. Sparks now arguing with the referee, saying that that was a slow count. Oh, oh going for the Shining Wizard. She missed. Danny Luna with the pin. Suplex by Danny Luna. Danny Luna seems to be back in charge of this match. She's trying to get Echo up to her feet. What's she going for here? Onto the shoulders of Danny Luna is Echo oh, Reed. Sparks on the apron again. Oh, what's going to happen here? Oh. Danny Luna, Danny Luna has, has Sparks by the throat. What was that? Just no. Sparks. No. Yes. Oh. She can't win like this. Oh. oh, Danny Luna just about kicks out. That was a stun gun from the outside by Jordan Sparks. Oh, oh the ref. Was the ref down? The ref the is down. The ref is down. down. What happened there? I think Echo might have striked her as Danny Luna was kicking out. Sparks in the ring. No, he can't. Oh, Sparks kicks Echo Reed. Head off her shoulders. And a German oh, suplex by Danny Luna. Beautiful German suplex by Danny Luna. The ref's back up. Oh, what a power bomb that was. That's it. And Danny Luna wins. Impressive showing by Echo Reed. But even with Sparks on the outside, wasn't quite enough to get the job done. And the winner of our third contest is Danny Luna.
Now, I have never heard it so loud in yet as when Shane Hooker made his entrance then. That was amazing. He's definitely got a lot of family and friends support in St Andrew's Church tonight. Oh, I'd say that all the fans are up behind Shane. What a victory this would be for Shane Hooker. Oh, definitely. He was able to beat Wild Boar, the veteran. Nice so respect to start there. this yeah. match. Lock up. Both of these wrestlers sussing each other out. To another lock up. Oh, Shane taken down to the mat there by four. But he gets straight back up to his feet. Look at the way Wild Boar looks at Shane. He's just stalking him, isn't he? Like a literal wild boar. An actual wild boar. A wrist lock by Shane Hooker. Oh. He's got the pressure applied good there. To the ropes there. Shane's at the ropes. Breaks the hold. Oh, oh God, just shoving his hand now into that the was a face bit of Shane Hooker. <laughs> oh, wrenches that wrist lock there. <laughs> Trying to dislocate. His arm from his socket. Rolls through, rolls back up. Wow. Oh, a lovely reversal there <laughs> by Shane Hooker. <laughs> I really got the crowd going. Oh, oh it's Shane holds on to that wrist lock. Beautifully done. Oh, Boar's got the hair. Let's go. Oh, Boar trying to reverse to relieve some of that pressure of that wrist lock, but Shane just gets him straight back in it. Shane's Shane. got an answer to all of Boar's counters, oh, except for that one. Boar's had enough then. And a beautiful oh, a nip, up. nip up by Shane. Side headlock. Oh, and a shoulder tackle by Wild Boar. Oh, oh. What a stiff forearm that was. Beautiful head spring by Shane Hooker, only to be cut off by a forearm from Boar. Knocks Shane Hooker to the ground. Onto the mat. The crowd are behind Shane, though. Oh! Oh! Shots and a shoulder to the gut. Section. Wow! Oh! Oh! oh beautiful! Into the side of the head. By Shane Hooker. <laughs> More to the outside. Shane what are we going to see here from Shane? He's not. Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow. Shane Hooker's like a real life superhero. Amazing athleticism on display there from Shane Hooker. Oh, and Boar's had enough. Oh! Gets tripped up by Shane Hooker. Shane Hooker now. To the, the top turnbuckle. Top turnbuckle. Oh! But Boar takes his leg out from underneath him. And Shane is now in a heap on the top turnbuckle. Again, that looked very painful. It did. Oh. Shot from Boar. What's Boar thinking here? He's gone up to the middle. Oh. No, what he can't. Oh! Oh! Superplex! Superplex! There we go, that's it. Oh! oh. Shane out. out from Shane. <laughs> wow. 
Shane is definitely one of the fastest up and coming young wrestlers in South Wales. Oh, in fact, absolutely. to be honest, in, you know, in Wales in, in general, really. And well, look at the following he's already got. He's got a huge following already here tonight. Shane. But I think to the, the experience of Boar is, is starting to show now. <laughs> the big boss getting riled up by the I crowd think here. He is. The crowd are giving Boar some trash talk of his own. Shane Hooker very well to block those two strikes and then returns with a strike of his own. Oh, a kick to Wild Boar. Sends him off the ropes and a switch by Boar oh. into a back elbow that sends Shane to the mat. Then fall by Boar. Shane kicks out a two. Wrenching that. Oh, look at the oh. angle that Shane's neck is at at the moment, right across Paul's knee. Oh, that. I'm trying to think of a better word than uncomfortable. It looks but uncomfortable, doesn't it? Boar is in control at the moment and an elbow to the head of Shane Hooker. Oh, oh short arm clothesline from Boar. Look at the look at that Wild was, Boar's that was, face. Uh, that was a smile, that was. I think Wild Boar enjoys enforcing this pain on Shane Hooker. Strike to the side of the head. Sends Shane into the corner. What's he thinking here? Boar up to the middle right. Oh, oh is, is he, he biting, biting him? him? Surely he can't do that. He was definitely using the referee's oh. count there and another short arm clothesline by Boar. And you see he was very smart there as well, almost using his body to shield, shield. so that the referee couldn't see exactly what yeah. he was doing. He, yeah, he, that was very clever by Boar there. Yeah. Oh, and a duck. And a <laughs> head scissors <laughs> by Sends four into the corner. Oh! oh. Ball gets his legs up. Oh! Shane Hooker kicks out. Oh, is that a look of disbelief? A wild ball's face. He definitely looks pleased with himself after that one. He's now just looking just down at Shane Hooker. Stomps to the head. Just enough to provoke Shane. What's Ball thinking of here? Oh! <laughs> onto the shoulders and then just sends him flying to the mat with a scent onto the back of Shane Hooker. Shane Hooker kicks out again. There is no giving up in Shane Hooker, especially not in front of this crowd. They're Definitely all behind him here. They are behind him. Oh, and another kick to the face. Pulling oh, his hair. Slap. Another slap by Wild Boar. Oh! Oh! Oh, just repeated slaps there from Ball. But there you go, Shane's now firing up. Oh. Oh. oh, beautiful kick there by Shane Hooker, sends Ball into the corner. What's Shane thinking of here? Oh, oh. charging at Ball with that forearm. And, and another, another forearm in the corner. Is he going for a third? Yes, he is! Hits a it. flying forearm! Oh, oh and a on back an elbow! elbow. What a moonsault! What a moonsault by Shane Hooker! Oh, and Boar's shoulders went down. Oh. 
I think that cost Shane just a little bit of time there. Absolutely, you've got to ask yourself, if Boar's shoulders would have been down straight away, would that have been a three? Exactly. Oh! <laughs> Boar. Is Shane going to the top? Knees. Shane's on the top rope. Oh, the side drop kick. Drop kick, look at the height on that. And oh. Boar kicks out. Shane's becoming quite well known for that beautiful top rope missile drop kick. The height he gets on that is unbelievable. That was absolute perfection. Oh, the crowd here showing their appreciation. They've got a this is awesome chant. Shane back to his feet. He can't be thinking of going back up top. It looks like he is. He is indeed going back up top. What else has Shane Hooker got in his arsenal? Do you know what? I think he was going for it again, but Boar oh! oh, knew what to expect this time. Oh, oh. And a knee to the face. Oh, oh. and a beautiful pop-up powerbomb. And Shane Hooker kicks out. I don't think Boar can believe it. It's like Shane Hooker is feeding off of the energy that the fans here are giving him. Nobody here wants him to give up. Oh! oh. No! Shane with a roll up. Oh, and a Ball kick out at out. two by Wild Boar. Super kick! Wild Boar's down. Oh. Shane, Shane goes. you've got to capitalize on this. Let's go back to the top. What could he possibly be thinking now? Splash! Splash! Oh, Wild Boar somehow, suddenly was able to kick out Look at Shane's of the 450 face. splash. Shane can't believe that Boar's just kicked out of that. A beautiful 450 splash by Shane Hooker onto Wild Boar. Shane's got to be thinking, what else has he got to give? What else has he got to do to win this match? He's going back up. Oh, oh no, Boar's got his leg. Shane stomping away. Oh! And a beautiful code breaker by Shane Hooker. Back to the top rope he goes. Oh! Ball moves out the way. Oh! Oh! Somebody check that Shane's head is still attached, wow. please. Oh, oh cannonball, cannonball in the corner. Ball from Wild Boar. Oh, oh. trapper keeper bomb. Oh, and that's it. just like that, that's it. Wild Boar wins. What a match that was. Shane Hooker put up a hell of a fight against Wild Boar there. Oh, even after beating their favourite, the crowd here has got to show respect to Wild Boar Absolutely. after that fantastic match. What's Paul thinking of here? Oh, oh it looks like he's going to leave it teasing. Be. I think he was teasing him then. What a wonderful show of respect. Both men shaking hands in the middle of the ring here. And Paul raising Shane Hooker's arm. And how could you not respect each other after putting on such a match exactly. like that was? A Amazing. show of respect from both men here. Both competitors proving that St. Andrew's Church is the place to see wrestling tonight. Amazing.
Now, I already thought that James Ellis had absolutely no chance in this Rumble match, but seeing that Nico Angelo is number two, <laughs> oh, his chances are even less. Oh, James, bless him. When he came out to the ring, he, he just he looked really sad, didn't he? He looked really sad that he was entering the Rumble at number one. And I think the best thing that James Ellis could do in this situation here is do the classic James Ellis, and that is just stay outside the ring. Yep. Try your best not to get inside and not to be thrown over the top rope. The second he gets in that ring with Nico. And let's not forget, James Ellis also has the disadvantage of already having had a match tonight, which means that he is a bit fatigued. That's very true. Nico is coming in at the second entrant place here, and he's completely fresh. He's completely fresh, and he definitely wants a piece of James Ellis right now. He is telling him to get in the ring. <laughs> you can see the frustration on Nico Angelo. Oh, is James going to get in the ring? Is he going to get in the ring? And in comes Sean Jackson. And I believe that Sean Jackson and James Ellis have formed an alliance. Look at the both of them working together. Attacking Nico Angelo. Oh, and a gut to the midsection. And driving Nico Angelo into the corner. From James Ellis. And Jackson with a gut of his own. A shoulder to the gut, I apologize. Now, I must admit, I wasn't expecting to see James Ellis making an alliance with anyone. I didn't know he had any friends. <laughs> I, I don't think he does have any friends, to be honest. But, like we said earlier, he's very clever. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's getting someone else to do his dirty work for him. And that is another trait of classic James Ellis. comes Harrison Bennett, the man with the greatest entrance music in all of professional <laughs> wrestling. And it looks like Nico and Harrison Bennett have teamed up. Oh, oh Boyd Walker! Boyd Walker from Nico Angelo. And it looks here that Harrison Bennett and the Black Heart of Gold have formed an alliance. Some shots in the corner there to Sean Jackson. And look, James Ellis on the outside again. Oh, are they going to get Sean Jackson out? In comes James Ellis, and out goes James Ellis. He definitely hit Nico in the back there, and he was not happy. And Alex Vaughan straight on the attack on Nico Angelo. 
absolutely straight in there with some really vicious shots. James from Ellis Alex and Sean Vaughan. Jackson looked like they were going to get Harrison Bennett out, but Harrison Bennett was able to fight back. And now on the attack on James Ellis. Is Harrison Bennett going to throw him out? No, he throws him into the turnbuckle. Oh, and Jackson there to help. Oh, oh, Harrison beautiful wow. forearms for oh. Harrison Bennett. I think that's knocked Sean Jackson clean out. It definitely knocked him off his feet there. And some stops in the corner to Harrison Bennett by Alex Vaughan. Oh, and guess what? James Ellis back to the outside. Oh, is Sean Jackson trying to get Nico out of the ring here? And in comes Bevan. He is headbutting anything in his path. I think he just gave a headbutt to pretty much every man in the ring. And now stomping on Sean Jackson in the corner. Bevan gets Sean Jackson up. Tries to get him out. If you look to the other oh. side of the ring, Harrison Bennett. And Nico Angelo's alliance still going strong as the both of them attack Alex Vaughan in the corner. comes splits but pins one half of Bolarama. I would say that Bolarama have the best entrance music. <laughs> it is my personal favourite. Well, I can't argue with that. I pretty much every, love everything about Bolarama. It's a bop. It's definitely a bop. Would you agree with me if I said that I think they are dripping in sauce? <laughs> I've been told that that means that they look cool. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure it's like an urban slang kind I, of thing. It might be. I don't yeah. know if I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was definitely a shot to Nico Angelo there from Sean Jackson. And it looks like Alex Vaughan is desperately trying to eliminate Splits McPins. But Nico Angelo gets Alex Vaughan out of the way. Jimmy Taylor here thinks that he has eliminated everyone from the match. But it appears that everybody just but landed on the it apron. It appears everybody. Oh, <laughs> and they are not happy. He is surrounded. Oh, no. And the Fat Cat's cleaning house, taking everybody out with clotheslines. Jimmy Taylor has been eliminated from the Rumble. Oh my God, I missed that. He's been eliminated. Oh, this Royal Rumble match has been, it's so action-packed. 
no, he tries to get everybody out of the ring, but unfortunately it's him that's landed on the floor. Chris McFins and Harrison Bennett working together to try and get Alex Vaughan out of this match. Is James Ellis sat with the fans? Where is James Ellis? Oh, I can see him now. Do you know what? I'd almost forgot that James Ellis was in this match. I don't think I've seen him in the ring yet. Almost as if he's wearing camouflage. <laughs> Look at the size of this man, Toby Valentine, cleaning house. He's oh. showing that he's definitely farm strong here. Is he going to throw Bevan out this match? Bevan doing all that he can to hold on. Toby Valentine doing what he can to kick Bevan off the apron. Splits pins trying to get Nico Angelo out. He fights back. Oh. Lloyd Cat is desperately trying to hang on here. He's got Bevan and Alex Vaughan trying to get him out of the ring. Oh, and Splits McPins comes to his aid. And in comes Adam Carter. That was a face-off between Adam Carter and Toby Valentine. Looks like Harrison Bennett and Splits McPins are trying to eliminate Bevan. Speaking of Splits McPins, I have got to bring it up. Now, I know we've got a tag team in this match here in Volgarama. Yep. Do you think there's any chance at all that we might see, oh, I don't know, maybe one of them turning on each other later on in this match? I really hope not. I, it's I, every man for it, themselves. It is, um, I know, it is every man for themselves. I'd like to see them both stay in as long as they can and, and try and keep helping each other out. But eventually, you know, we'll see if one of Bolarama is still standing at the end. Both members of Bolarama taking a beating at the moment. Split McPins down in the corner as we can see. Ooh, and in comes a sly James Ellis. I don't believe it. James Ellis almost got in the ring. Oh, Bevan has been eliminated. Bevan eliminated and in comes Elijah. With a beautiful Elijah. drop kick. And Nico Angelo now working together. To try and get Sean Jackson out of the ring. Oh! And Sean Jackson has been eliminated. And now both of them on the attack. I don't believe it, Steve. James Ellis is in the ring and Bolarama are teaming up here with a strike. Don't you love to see it? In the corner. I love to see it. James Ellis getting his ass handed to him by Bolarama. Fat Cat, Lloyd Cat, trying to eliminate Harrison Bennett. Harrison Bennett holds on. And Toby Valentine is desperately trying to eliminate Adam Carter here. 
Oh. Is Adam Carter going to hold on? He climbs to over the top rope. He is holds that, on. Is that Splits McPins has just been eliminated? No, not Splits McPins. And Alex Vaughan. In comes the Manchester Mauler, Leon Brando, brought up on the roughest streets of Manchester. Nico Angelo, straight on the attack to Leon Brando. Oh, and Elijah with a back club to Adam Carter. Harrison Bennett looking to get the fat cat, Lloyd Cat. Adam out Carter of this match. has been eliminated by Elijah. And James Ellis sneaks under the bottom rope. It is very hard to keep on track of what's happening in this match. This is utter chaos and I love it. Me too. This is, it's bedlam. But... Oh, oh the fat cat is eliminated! Oh, I'm sorry, Luna. That means that both of Bowler Armour are sadly now out of this match. James Ellis? Through the middle rope this time. And all of a sudden, everything changed. And all of a sudden, working with James Ellis, I believe. To try and eliminate the Manchester Mauler, Leon Brando. And Elijah is trying to eliminate Toby Valentine here too. Harrison Bennett. Oh, is he going to get James Ellis out of this match? At last. Oh! Nico Angelo. But Leon Brando holds on and he's landed on the apron. And so is Toby Valentine. Toby Valentine is still on the apron right now. Both men hanging on. Oh, what a kick that was by Nico Angelo. Oh, and another kick to Oliver Sutton. Kick to ne by Nico to all of a sudden there. Degnan on the attack to all of a sudden. Then he goes for Toby Valentine. And now. Oh, oh, he's just clawed at the back of Elijah there. Oh, look at the red marks on Elijah's back. He is desperately trying to eliminate Elijah, but Elijah is hanging on. Is Degnan going to eliminate Elijah? Oh, oh Toby, Toby Valentine, Valentine intervenes. To the aid of Elijah there. Elijah's got to be very grateful for that. The Manchester Mauler. James Leon. Ellis back in the ring. Oh, he's got he's the leg of Toby Valentine. Valentine. The Elijah Manchester. with the uppercuts to Harrison Bennett. It looks like Leon Brando was trying to eliminate Harrison Bennett earlier on. But now it looks like Elijah's trying to. Anything could change in this match. It's, it's all of a sudden just grabbed the nipple of Leon Brando. Is that what he did? <laughs> How cheeky! And out goes Leon Brando. Ah! Shane Hooker is back and he's on the attack already. 
I listen to this crowd go wild. Shane Hooker is back. And he goes straight for the attack. He's going to try and get Toby Valentine out of this match. And you better believe that the crowd here at St Andrew's Church have got a new favourite in this match. Oh, I don't think they're going to be very happy if James Ellis eliminates him. Definitely not. But imagine if Shea, Shane Hooker eliminates James Ellis. James Ellis has now got Shane Hooker and Toby Valentine trying to eliminate him. Surely he can't hold on for much longer. This has got to be it. Somehow, some way. Ah, oh, he manages to find himself. And you better believe it. <laughs> he's rolled under the bottom rope. And he's going to go back hiding. Oh, but Nico Angelo's got his eye on him. Nico Angelo sees him. He does. Definitely. There's no escaping from the black heart of gold. Now, there is absolutely nothing in the rule book saying that Tumbas can't do that. But I really wish it wouldn't. That, that was naughty. That was, that was naughty, naughty on Harrison Bennett there. Oh. And Tumbas is trying to eliminate Harrison Bennett. Oh, what's Degnan begging for here? Oh, and you'll never guess who's back. Here he is again, James Ellis. Is he gonna... And he helps, he helps Shane Hooker. And Elijah's there too. Are they gonna get all of a sudden out of this match? Well, that would be a very surreal it looks like Harrison Bennett has just got payback on Toombus for what he did. Oh, that's good. That's what we love to see. Look at James Ellis treating all of a sudden like a bouncy castle. <laughs> oh, I told me Valentine's got his hands on James Ellis. match now and Nico Angelo shoves them straight in the corner four on strikes oh and Kurt's just put Nico back in the corner and a strike from Kurt to Nico Angelo Kurt Rain now he's got Nico on the top rope and they're going to try and push him out. Fair play. There are a lot of bodies still in this rumble right now. Every man is trying really hard to win. <laughs> What's that look Elijah's giving James Ellis? <laughs> Harrison Bennett now. He's dragged him into the ring. Oh, this has got to be it. Harrison, just throw him out. And Josh Holly now is going to eliminate Elijah. 
Oh, very nearly. Oh, Elijah's holding on. Elijah is, is this going to be it for Elijah? Oh, Elijah very smartly tangling oh, his feet in the bottom rope, making sure that Josh Holly isn't able to push him to the floor. And Tumba's in, intervenes, saves Elijah. Kurt Rain stomping down on James Ellis. Oh! Oh, oh, Toby, Toby Valentine, Valentine is out of this match. And he was definitely a favourite here. And now he's gone. Oh! Oh, oh I thought that was James it for James Ellis. Hanging on there and manages to slide under the bottom rope. A beautiful forearm there by Harris and Bennett on Toombos. Oh, oh, oh what a bicycle kick! Tumba seeing stars, over the top he goes. Oh, he wasn't. Oh, he's, he's hold on. He has, he's, he's held on. on, yep. What's Harrison Bennett gonna do with Degnan? He throws him out. Degnan holds on. <laughs> he's tickling his armpits. In comes Carl Adams and he very bravely tries to eliminate the crowd favourite here, Shane Hooker. And now he's on the attack to Nico Angelo. Forearm strikes. Oh, Nico with a switch. Oh, it throws him over. Not quite enough. Able to hold on to the bottom rope. He slides back in the ring. Oh, and here he is, James Ellis. Hello. Oh, he's oh and Nico's got his eye on him. Go on, Nico. Go on, Nico! Oh, oh Degnan from behind! Is he gonna throw? And Nico Angelo out! Look at James Ellis! Oh, and Harrison Bennett saves him! Oh, now Cal Adams! Cal Adams gonna get Nico Angelo out, and Josh Holly helping Josh as well! Josh Holly helping! Oh, is this it for Nico Angelo? In comes James Ellis. And James Ellis does absolutely nothing, just looks from the corner. It looks like Nico managed to stay in. James Ellis strikes Shane Hooker. Sami Zaheen with the clotheslines. He's just clotheslining everybody. And a massive slam to Cal Adams. Do you hear the sound of those body slams? And a, another slam to Josh Holly. Now this is impressive. Oh! I think I've got a new favourite in this match. I think the fans here have definitely found one or two. Definitely. Oh, they're not going to be happy if James Ellis gets Sami Sahin out of this match. It looks like Elijah is trying to eliminate Cal Adams, but he's saved by Josh Holly. Oh, has Harrison Bennett got Degnan out? Degnan holding on, holding on to the top rope. Oh, the grip in Degnan's fingers there. Kicks Harrison Bennett, saved himself. Degnan's still in this match. As we see next to them, Elijah holding onto that bottom rope and he's striking Josh Holly. Elijah back in this match. In the corner, Kurt Rain again trying to get Nico Angelo out of this match. Harrison Bennett over the top. Sami Sahin working the fingers.
Oh, look at the size of this man. Wow. Mulligan has got to be at least seven foot tall. He is a monster of a man, and he is squaring up already with Sami Sahin. Oh, and a close line takes Sami Sahin down with ease. That almost turned him inside out. That was a hell of a close line there from Mulligan. Oh, oh, a double elimination by Mulligan. He's just eliminated both Carl Adams and Josh Holly at the same time. Is Kurt Rain going to suffer the same fate? Yes, he is. Out goes Kurt Rain by Mulligan. Now, I genuinely believe everybody's got a new favourite in this match. And Mulligan goes straight after Nico Angelo who has been in this match from the very beginning, entering at number two. He's had a very tough time at it, unlike the other man who's been in here since the very beginning, which is James Ellis, which has had a really nice and chill very time chill. of it. As you very can see, chill. again, to the outside. Hiding like a little coward. At least Nico's actually stayed in the ring. Ethan Thomas. Oh, and he's just got stomped on by Mulligan. Oh, look at the size difference between these two men. That's not enough to stop Ethan Thomas. The shoulder tackle doesn't move Mulligan really, but oh, that's underneath. Another shoulder tackle. <laughs> got Mulligan on the ropes. What's Ethan oh, thinking? Oh, a big, big boot takes Ethan Thomas big. down. <laughs> Mulligan grabbing Ethan. Oh, oh. Degnan here. Just trying to save him. Or, oh, Degnan's going to get Ethan out. And Ethan Thomas throws Degnan oh, at the rumble no. match. Degnan. Ethan definitely looks very pleased with himself there. But now he's turned to face. Mulligan again. A Degnan! And out oh. goes Ethan Thomas! Out goes Ethan. Mulligan turns around. He's on the attack now. Danico Angelo. Harrison Bennett on the attack. And Elijah. We've got Sami Sahin and Shane Hooker down in the other corner. TJ Wilding, oh, uppercut to Mulligan. Oh. Oh, I don't know if that's smart. I wouldn't want to make no, Mulligan angry. Definitely not. And look over this side, Nico Angelo has spotted James Ellis again. Oh, is Nico Angelo venturing to the outside? Oh, he slides under the bottom. And he rope. is. He is. And Nico at the chase. Chasing James Ellis around the ring. Go on, Nico. Catch him. James Ellis back in the ring. <laughs> and James and Ellis out the, the ring again, side. of course he is. Oh, Mulligan has just eliminated TJ Walding. Mulligan is unstoppable in this match. It looks like Harrison Bennett is trying to eliminate Elijah. Well, I might be wrong, but that's, is that five eliminations by Mulligan already? I think it could be. He is on a mission, that man. Elijah kicks James Ellis on the outside. Elijah throws James Ellis back in the match. Into the ring, sorry. Get out of there, Billy. Trust me. You don't want to square up to Mulligan. Definitely not. 
Oh, Billy is going straight for Shane Hooker. If I remember correctly, they had a match at the last New Wave show. But was it that looks a one-on-one like, -on -one match? Uh, triple threat, I believe, and I think Harrison Bennett was in that match as well. But it looks like Nico has come to Shane's aid. And he's stomping on Billy Hayes in the corner. Mulligan. Oh, Mulligan had Sami Sahin. But Sami Sahin was able to get out of it. Now Sami Sahin has Mulligan in the corner. James Ellis attacking Shane Hooker before cowardly. Getting out the ring again, of course he does. Of course he does. You see Harrison Bennett really frustrated. And you've got to feel for a lot of these competitors who have been in the ring for a very long time, Definitely. knowing that James Ellis is still here doing a fraction of the work that the rest of these guys are doing. Oh, and a big shot from Billy Hayes there to Shane Hooker. And in comes the iron-clad Kurt Atlas. Oh! With a massive backbreaker to the knee on Shane Hooker. Is James Ellis trying to form an alliance with Kurt Atlas? But I don't think that went down very well with Kurt. Well, to be fair, at least that's the first time that he's tried to do anything in this match. <laughs> it's very true. Very true indeed. Nico Angelo now on the attack of Sami Sahin. Kurt Atlas on the attack to Tumbas. Oh! And Mulligan throws oh, Elijah out of this match! Elijah is now out of this match, eliminated by the nearly seven foot tall Mulligan, who has definitely eliminated an awful lot of people from this match. Is that six now? It could be six. Definitely a lot, I think more than everybody else. Mulligan could be setting records here. Mulligan now, is he gonna get... Is he gonna try and eliminate Sami Sahin? Uh, Joshua James, excuse me. Take it out, Tumbas. He's, gonna... He's decided to square off with Mulligan and they are exchanging shots at the moment. And it looks like he's actually getting the better of Mulligan. He's not going to try and get Mulligan over the top rope, surely not. Is Joshua James going to throw Mulligan out of this match? Oh, James Ellis comes to the aid of Mulligan and then stumbles backwards and... Oh, do you know what? Usually, yeah, I will yeah. say, the one thing that I will give James Ellis is the fact that he's smart. But to go there, then, and try and stop Joshua James from eliminating Mulligan, that's got to be one of the stupidest things I've ever heard of in my... But he's not silly, see? So he knows that Mulligan has been eliminating so many competitors. He's going to want everybody to go out, isn't he? And Mulligan could be the man to do that for him. Oh, there you go, Luna. That's why you're a wrestler and I'm not. So you've got the brains. You understand how all this works. I didn't even think of that, of course. But he's going to run into the huge problem at the end of the match when it's, well, potentially going to be James Ellis and Mulligan. Then he could have a very big problem. Oh, Nico Angelo on the top right. Is he eliminated? No. No, he's just managed to hang on after a big shot from Kurt Atlas. Oh, and Kurt Atlas is out just like that. Now there's someone I was expecting to be in this match for longer. And Jay Joshua cleaning house. Oh my God, those were close lines if I've ever seen any. And he's working with his tag team partner, Billy Hayes from the Dad Dead Sad Boys. 
and they're stomping on Shane Hooker right now. Mulligan on the attack to Joshua James in the corner. Jay Joshua trying to eliminate Shane Hooker. Oh, and Billy Hayes is helping him. Can Shane hang on? Oh, and Harrison oh. Bennett with a strike to the back oh. of Billy Hayes' head. He definitely heard that one up here. Oh, my God. That was crystal clear. And Harrison Bennett oh, throws no. Billy Hayes out. Sami Sahin has been Sammy eliminated. Said. Into the fans. Another favourite gone. It looks like Shane Hooker and Harrison Bennett are working together to try and eliminate Billy Hayes here. But again, he's hanging on. Sid Oakley, straight for Harrison Bennett. He's got him over the top. Is this it for Harrison Bennett? Oh, Harrison Bennett doing everything he can to hold on to those ropes. Oh, and he's using a fan to make sure that his feet didn't touch the floor. That was cheeky, but very clever very by clever Harrison indeed. Bennett. Mulligan. And Joshua James oh, still going at it at this to corner. The face of Joshua James by Mulligan. And it looks like Septic Sid Oakley is trying really hard here to eliminate Shane Hooker, and Toombas is helping him as well. Is this it for Sh Shane Hooker? These fans here at St Andrew's Church would be very disappointed if that was the case. Shane is definitely fighting back here, and he's managed to stay on the apron. Now Mulligan has Nico Angelo in the corner and Nico Angelo must be knackered must by be now. Absolutely shattered by now. And here comes number 30, Mark Andrews eliminates. Oh, not quite. He's going to. Oh, oh Tumbas with a hell was, of a kick. That was cheeky by Septic Sid Oakley there. He managed to hang on. Sid Oakley still in this match. Tumbas now looking to eliminate Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews slides. But Mark down Andrews the and back. Sid Oakley work together oh, to eliminate Tumbas. Tumbas has now gone from this match. Oh, and a beautiful oh. drop kick by Mark Andrews that sends. Sid Oakley <laughs> flying. I think Mark Andrews is still seeing stars. And that again, he's another was competitor. A right hand. It was. He's another competitor tonight who's already had a match. You know, and he, he won that match to come into the this rumble in last place. Nico Angelo goes for a runner on Joshua James, but he's caught and he's now up on the shoulders of Joshua, Joshua James. James. Look at the power bomb. Oh, and he completes the runner and sends Joshua James flying over the top rope. That was absolutely incredible. What a move there by Nico Angelo. And Mark Andrews trying to eliminate Mulligan. Oh, Shane Hooker now fighting back. Jay Joshua and Billy Hayes. But Jay Joshua has Shane Hooker up. Oh, Shane Hooker has managed to stop himself. Is this it for Shane? Is this it? Oh! And he nearly eliminates Jay Joshua. And oh, he's Billy Hayes now. Up on the shoulders of Billy Hayes. Oh, 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 that's it for Shane Hooker. The Dead Sad Boys work together then. 
to eliminate Shane Hooker, but Harrison Bennett is on the attack. And you can feel all the hearts of the fans breaking here oh. at St Andrews Church. Oh. <laughs> what a shot from Harrison Bennett there. Harrison Bennett has been nothing short of impressive in this match. And Mark Andrews oh, is still trying to eliminate Mulligan. Oh, and Harrison Bennett eliminates Billy Hayes. Did you see? He almost eliminated his own tag partner. And over goes to Joshua. Joshua goes. And... Billy Hayes wanted to be eliminated twice. Oh, look behind you, Harrison. No! Oh, no! Now out goes Harrison Bennett. Eliminated by Mulligan. And we are down to our final four. We have James Ellis at number one. Nico Angelo entered at number two. Mark Andrews, of course, number 30. Oh, and there's a brawl! A brawl! Breaking happening out outside. On the outside between Jay Joshua, Harrison Bennett, Shane Hooker, and Billy Hayes. And it looks like they've taken it through the curtain to the backstage area. These four competitors. Concentrating on each other and James Ellis, of course, trying to I form an alliance you, with the biggest I man in there, you. with Mulligan. He's not silly. The seven-footer. Oh, <laughs> what a chop! A massive chop by Mulligan sends James Ellis to the mat. Nico Angelo and Mark Andrews working together here to try and take down Mulligan. Are they going to do it? Nico Angelo and Mark Andrews. Are they going to be the ones to eliminate Mulligan from this match? Surely if James Ellis was wise, he'd get up and help them. Oh, a push, oh, Mulligan. A push from Mulligan sends both Nico and Mark flying. Chokeslam! Oh, a massive chokeslam by Mulligan to Nico Angelo. Oh. Is this it? Is Mark Andrews going to eliminate Mulligan? What a boot! You can't be serious, he's not going to suplex him! Oh, stunt dog millionaire! And out goes Mulligan! I can't believe it! Mark Andrews has done it! He has eliminated Mulligan! But up behind to the road him, back, to the road back. James Ellis has eliminated. James Ellis. James, James Ellis thinks he's won. He's won. But he's forgetting Nico Angelo. Turn around, James. Turn around, James. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh! And that chop takes him down. Oh, and another chop. Chops galore here by the black hat of gold, Nico Angelo. <laughs> Body drop by Nico Angelo. He's finally got his hands on James Ellis. He's been waiting this entire match. And Nico Angelo saves himself. His feet did not touch the floor. Back in there, go on, Nico. Close line! I can't believe that the two last competitors in this match are number one and number two. I know. That is unbelievable. These guys must be absolutely shattered. Well, one of them more than, yes. you know. <laughs> the other. Oh! James has just kicked the knee of Nico. What's James Ellis thinking of doing here? He can't seriously be thinking of suplexing him into the outside. He's going to break his back. Nico, Nico Angelo. is hanging on. Black heart of gold. Thinking of a suplex. Oh no! Oh, both men now on the apron. That was close. This is a very dangerous place for them to be. Oh. They've got to make sure that they're holding onto those ropes oh. very, very tight. One slip and it's all over. The there new wave championship is on the line. There is a strike off from both men on the apron right now. This is very close. Oh, and super a kick! Super kick! And Nico Angelo holding on to that top rope. 
That super kick really looked like it rocked Nico. Ooh, oh! What's James doing here? What's he thinking? And Nico Angelo with the strikes to the head. The pose. Super oh, kick of his super own! Super kick of his own! Yeah. Oh, oh, this is with the stomp! With the stomp. Oh. James Ellis with a kick to the head. Nico Angelo still holding on to that top rope. Both men absolutely exhausted. James Ellis with the strikes to the head. Those forearms laying it in. Oh, oh and Nico with a forearm of his own. Strike from Nico. Oh, James has just raked the eyes of Nico. But Nico still saw the boots coming. Oh, and a big boot of his own on the apron. Kicks the knee out of James. Onto the shoulders. He must be thinking Void Walker. Oh, no! James Ellis went low. He went low. That was a low blow. No! James Ellis. Not this way. Surely not. We can't crown the first new wave world champion this way i can't believe it i cannot believe it james ellis entered at number one and threw a low blow on nico angelo who worked so hard to stay in that rumble until the very end james ellis is the first new wave wrestling champion after all of the hard work by nico angelo Nico Angelo had been in the ring, actually in the ring from the very beginning. Not like James Ellis, who'd been hiding outside like a little coward. He does not deserve to be holding that championship. Absolute and there we have it. Scenes here in St Andrew's Church. James Ellis is the new wave champion.